Today, I'm taking Simon to the zoo. He should be pretty used to visiting new places. I mean, our family has visited all the national parks in the USA, but there's a big difference between this place and our national parks. Simon is used to always having his brothers and sisters around. Today, it's just him and me and a couple close friends. When we first came in, he got scared of a new place and was screaming unless I held him and then he played with my hair, well, pulled my hair. But Simon, did you see the elephant? Yeah. Since Simon has level one autism, I never know how he's gonna react. Will he wander off? Will he stay close to me? Will he be excited to try new things? Will he be scared? Come on down. You can do it by yourself. You can do it. Me, go down. Go down the slide. Yeah, he's at the top. He's just sitting there. Now he got up again. Okay. Simon, come here. Come here, Simon. Come here. I know Simon, and I know he loves slides. And sometimes you just need a little push in life. Sit. Sit. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. 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 <laughs> Did you stop yourself in the middle of the slide? Oh, there we go. Yay, you made it. You survived. In this moment, Simon has a little stubborn streak. He will not come to me. Come here, Simon. Come on, Simon. So I switch my tune and ask him a question. Simon, where's mama? Where's mama? Come here. Oh, good job, come here. Good job, good listening. Good listening, Simon. If a child's having a stubborn streak, Instead of giving a command, ask a question that inspires the idea of what you want them to do. It doesn't work every time, but it's a nice tool to have in your parenting tool belt. And then Simon enters his own world here for a bit. I try to respect his desire for space and we take a break from the animals so that Simon can play with his car on the bench. I can tell how much he loves playing with his car. At the carousel, we get a fun teaching opportunity about waiting in lines. You like that? Are you a little nervous? Oh, there's a smile. And then this happens, and I have no idea why. So we was on a tiger, and then he just started freaking out. And so now we're at the place where like you can sit, and it doesn't go up and down, riding on the carousel, so that he can sit with mommy and play with my hair. That's what we're doing. How? Huh. Which doesn't make sense, because he loves carousels when we went to Disney. I think we found something that Simon likes. Do you just like the water, or do you like the sea lions? I can tell here that Simon loves the water. I wonder what it is about it that he loves so much. He's just like more interested in the playground aspect of it. So when we first came in, Simon was bawling his head off and he wouldn't even walk, he wouldn't go in the stroller. He wanted to just have me hold him at the time. We saw this cutest baby giraffe, like it's only like a week and a half old, so little. Um, and he like, didn't even care, didn't even care that it was there. But now, he's doing a lot better. He's got a little applesauce, huh? I think he liked the monkey, yeah. He liked the the water stuff. Like when there was water, he like went right up to it. There was a sea lion and some otters. And he liked that, he did like that. So we'll see what else he likes. Simon thinks all the handrails and glass are roads for his car. And now it would seem that Simon makes a new friend. He's following you. Is that cool? I didn't even know these existed. 
pretty cool looking animal, huh? Oh, I'm thinking of Benson right now. It just keeps coming back to this animal. And to finalize our trip, go to the snakes right at feeding time. That was exciting. And I don't think he realizes what's happening, but that's probably okay. What do you think about that, Simon? Okay. I've definitely never seen that before in my life. Overall, I think it was a success. We had our ups and downs, but the zoo, we might just come back to you soon. Check out the time when we took all five kids, including two who are autistic, to Disneyland. We didn't make any mistakes, promise.